Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Uh, tonight, let's uh, let's start with a question that came up in the pregame chat about the qua. What what exactly do I mean when I talk about spiraling down uh, in in the qua? And that's uh, that's something that is uh, it's a descriptive term that I don't know if anybody else uses it, but it's something that I find helpful, and that is it's indicating that there is a a direction that there's a release of the of the hip joint, which allows you to turn, but there's also a downward direction on that uh, uh, on that turn. So if, I'm, if I have my my right leg here, and let's say I feel the ball of my right foot, I set my right knee. I'm going to pick up my back heel just so I'm really low, really fully committed to that front leg. So if I'm going to spiral down to the left, that means that I'm going to release the quad, release the hip joint, and allow my body to turn, but at the same time it's sinking. And whenever I do that, that opens up this area here opens up the groin and allows for energy to flow very nicely. And there's a connection to the earth and it unkinks the hose here. But there's a, a lot of why, why I, I suggest to do this is because it is remedial. That is where it's correcting something that we tend to, uh, we tend to hold on to a lot of, tension in the hip joint. So in other words, if I'm, if I say, oh, I'm just going to turn to the right, and I just turn my body to the right, I haven't released the qua. And the natural impulse is to go the path of least resistance and say, okay, turn to the right, sure, I'll turn to the right, da, da, da. And I, and I do that. But when I do that, if I haven't released the qua, then it's going to have a tendency to pull up on the, uh, on, on everything below it. There's a tendency to pull up and to, as I turn, there's only way I can get to turn is by pushing my butt out to the side. So the, what I'm suggesting is if I want to turn to the right, I spiral down to the left. That is, I feel the ball of the foot, set the knee, and then I release down. I rotate down and allowing the body weight to push down. I'm not forcing anything. I'm just allowing the body to, to release down. So what that does is it opens up the energy channels and allows that to move through. So if I just, if I'm in that, in that release posture, if I then reach out and have someone push on me, then it's, there's an, I can feel the gym. There's a whole body energetic connection there and allows for, for that. The power is already gushing through. It's, there's, a, there's a connection from, my, from the earth up through my body and up through my hand. So I automatically have that already. But then if I want to then use this power to do what we do in Tai Chi, one of the key things in Tai Chi, and it's something that is fundamental to Tai Chi, is turning the waist. Okay. So if I just turn the waist without that initial step, I, I don't really have it. I don't have nothing. I, there's no, there's, if I just turn, this, this, there's no connection there. But if I spiral down first and then turn the waist, then this is loaded up. So there's a, there's, the energy is, is full there. So the question was, a sense of, of loading and then releasing outward. It's like, not exactly, because we want to keep the energy in. So there's, it's circulating through, but there's a constant fullness to the energy as you make that turn. So this whole thing is, oh, you're, you're, there's a continuum. It's almost like a, um, 
like a hydraulic uh, press or a hydraulic uh, jack or something like that, where you you pump it up and so it's a boom, and you have this hydrostatic pressure in the in the whole system. So that combined with the tensegrity of the of the connective tissue system, you have this very powerful but yet very supple energy and 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 structure so that you're able to have that tai chi power and without muscular contraction and uh, so the, the so the spiraling down is a releasing down and then there's the turn okay and the turn it's not a, a launching it's just a turn and that is driven by the yao that is driven by the the lower lower lumbar sacral area the lumbosacral area so what happens is and if you put your hand here and you, you turn it it's like you can feel that power generating that that is um it's creating a uh, uh this torque and as you as you turn